Right, those of you who have slept with our next presenter will know what it's like to have a touch of frost. No, we're not talking about David Jason's long-running Leeds-based cop series. We're talking about the star of Hot Fuzz and the boat that rocked. I was in that film and have just been cut out of it. It's that cheeky devil, Nick, Nick Frost. Frost. I'll take you, I will take you. There we go, lovely, there lovely. Goes. Hello all, hello. Uh, now, I am i don't like live music. I'm not sure music works live. I don't think it's the right format for it. So uh, I'm kind of astounded that they've given me this job tonight. So let's have a look at the nominations for Best Live British Act. It's wonderful to play live and radio to agree. But who's alive? <laughs> For girls. And you'll come back. And Elvis ain't dead. It's looking like a beautiful day. But I ain't mad. Me. Okay. And the winner is. Iron Maiden! It's a great honour to accept this Brit Award uh, on behalf of the band for Best Live Act. Uh, obviously, we can't be there at the moment to accept it because we're on our way around the world. We're doing Dubai and New Zealand and Mexico and all South America, or India, uh, and then we're uh, off to Florida and eventually we'll make our way back to the UK. Uh, but of course, we couldn't keep this entire show um, on the road uh, without our fans who voted for this, which is why this means so much to us that it was actually not given to us by some uh, committee, it's voted for by fans and they're the people that keep this band alive. Um, in addition, though, uh, we couldn't do anything without our killer crew who put this amazing set together every night and tear it down. So we'd like to thank them. We'd like to thank our long-suffering managers, Rod and Andy, and uh, also, of course, our wives, girlfriends and families for tolerating us for the last 20 years and probably having to tolerate us for a lot longer now after we've received this. Thanks very much. And uh, I do hope that Eddie doesn't get too jealous. Iron Maiden, who'd have thunked it? I didn't thunk it, I didn't even think it. I barely thought it.